Hi, I'm Dr. Allison Felt, owner of Body Motion Physical Therapy, and we are bringing back the Edmonds Moms Room podcast, and I could not be more excited about this. I have been wanting to get back to the podcast for a while now, um, and it just feels like the right time. I'm in a cool space energetically that I want to share more information with you guys, and what better way to get this out there than the podcast. So, podcast is coming back. We're going to talk all things health. We're going to talk all things wellness. We're going to talk all things pelvic floor. We are going to talk all things about optimizing and thriving in our bodies, keeping them pain-free, keeping them surgery-free, keeping ourselves on the wheel of life in a manner that keeps us fulfilled, in a manner that keeps us healthy, and in a manner that keeps us in pursuit of our dreams. I... Am, so I'm just excited to be here. I'm excited to talk to you guys about this. I've been up to a lot over this past year. Um, I've been on my own health and wellness journey for the last three years, but for especially the last year, I have really committed to being extremely disciplined, extremely accountable to myself, to a coach, and really achieving some goals I had set for myself as far as for my body and for my physical health. Um, and so I'll definitely dive into how I've done some of that. Um, and then I'm going to share all about the business. And so as you may or may not know, I own body motion physical therapy. Um, we currently at the time of this recording have a location in Edmonds, Washington and in Polsbo, Washington. And body motion was essentially my third baby after I had my first two. So Chloe is my first. She is nine years old. She's in fourth grade. And Kano is, how old is Kano? He is seven. He's in second grade. Um, and when I birthed him, I birthed body motion at the same exact time that I birthed him. And so essentially the business started a couple weeks after he was born and both those babies really helped me form what Body Motion has become and the reason and helped me really solidify my mission for why I've started Body Motion. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, after I had them and I had Body Motion as my third baby, a few more years had passed and I had really nailed down what is the body motion birth preparation protocol and how we help change people's birth stories and really prepare their bodies for tear-free, injury-free births and breathing their babies out so birth becomes less traumatic and less impactful on the woman's body. And so once we created all those fun protocols, you know I had to try it for myself. Um, the entirety of that timeline, I was manifesting my third baby, my, my fourth baby really, but like my third human baby. And I, um, yeah, so that happened in 2021. I had Jayla, she is now three years old. And I just continue to now progress through, I guess what you would call midlife and really the pursuit of top wellness. I still have really huge dreams and my wellness and fitness goals are really just a piece to help me achieve my dreams that I have set for myself. And so I will share some of my health and wellness tidbits, goals as we progress through this podcast. And I'll also share some of my spiritual practices, some of my mind and body connection practices. And so we'll go through some of what that is and what those are. And then we will also talk just different aspects and facets of women's health. I'm excited to get some new guests back on this podcast. Maybe some guests that have been on here before, but we're absolutely diving into some really exciting guests that will be coming on to this podcast. That's what I've been up to. And I cannot wait to bring this podcast back to you and give you tactical, tangible information that you can put into your everyday life to help you thrive and be the best version of yourself. This podcast really started as an amazing community builder and I would interview a lot of different local business owners that would 
um, you know, that had businesses in the Edmonds area. And then it switched to really talking a ton about women's health, going through different conditions, talking about what happens to the body after C-sections, after pregnancy, um, really on the fertility journey and how pelvic floor physical therapy can be a major aspect and part of every phase of the life. And now, of course, I still believe that. And those are absolutely impeccable parts of the journey, but we're going to just expand out. We're going to talk about mindset and mindfulness and spirituality, and we'll talk about souls, and we'll talk about energy, and we'll talk about health and wellness, and all of these are different facets that I'm super passionate about that I've integrated into my personal life and daily life, and so that's what we're here for. That's what we'll be talking about. Um, I mentioned over the past year, I've really been disciplined in my own personal pursuit of health. And that is, um, that's a big part of what I want to like share in this first episode. I think over the last three years, I've, I've lost probably 95 pounds. And since last year, um, has been a lot of that progress And I have done that through working with a a health coach. And I decided to hire a health coach after doing a couple online challenges and starting to really, you know, pick healthy foods again and get vegetables and protein back in my diet as like the primary staples and um, really hit my strength training and cardio, you know, harder than I had been uh, and made it a priority. So that all started three years ago. But my weight, even though it was coming down, it would fluctuate back up and I would play with binge eating a lot because sometimes those challenges were just so restricted that like you're just like, I can't wait till this challenge is over and I can just eat normal again. But then I realized there's no such thing as freaking eating normal. If you want to be healthy, you just have to integrate it into being your lifestyle, right? Health has to be the lifestyle. There's no end date to any goal um, or journey. It's just a continuum that you have to always commit to. And I think once I realized that, I, I could sign up to this for a long time. So I hired a coach, someone that could really help me make this a true lifestyle, be balanced about it. Um, with my coach, I do track macronutrients. So macronutrients are proteins, they're carbs, and they're fats. And I get a ton of questions online. I get a ton of questions via text from friends and whatnot and followers. What are your macros? What are your macros? My macros change a lot. Um, so when I started this journey, he had me track like three normal days and he was like, don't, even think you're tracking them. Like, just tell me what you're eating. And I think I was at like 3,300 calories, which might seem exorbitant, but that's what I was eating. And um, I was probably had days of even higher than that, I'm sure. Um, I just love food and I will always love food. And so um, I had those, I had those days. And then really we brought it down to my macros adding up in the beginning to about 2,500 calories. And and we slowly cut from there. Then we added some back. And um, now I'm in a maintenance phase. And so my macros are, um, they add up to about 1,900 calories a day right now. And it's so irrelevant what my personal macros are because you really need to find out what works for your body. And you want them to be as high as humanly possible for you to make a little bit of change that you're hoping for. Um, If that's, if that's what you want, hiring a coach is absolutely an amazing way to start to make changes, um, that are appropriate for you. Um, you don't want to just start at a diet where you're at 1500 calories or 1200 calories or where your macros add up to that, because that's just so restrictive. Um, and if you plan to do this for a long haul, you're going to have to work your macros back up. Um, so just work with someone who's educated, um, and that's been an absolute game changer for me. Uh, he knows my body now, and um, I stay accountable. I track different things on a spreadsheet every single day to make sure that I'm checking the boxes for my health journey. And so that's been I, that's what I've been up to. Um, if people ask, I track my steps, making sure I get 10,000 steps a day. Right now, my cardio is at three to four days a week at a 350-calorie burn, active calorie burn when I track that. Um, and then I lift, I strength train four to five days a week. And 
I drink a gallon of water a day, and I make sure I eat my food. We just went on a uh, business trip to Orlando, and I, I definitely packed my food because I still want to, I'm, I'm in what they call reverse, so where I'm reversing out of a diet phase slowly, making sure we don't gain weight. Um, but I packed food, I packed my proteins, um, but I was told that maybe my rice was contaminated on the trip, which was the best thing that someone could have told me because it, um, instead I just subbed out some ice cream bars every single night for my rice car bars and it was perfect. So, um, you know, I, I, I have flexibility with it and when you're tracking your macros, you have flexibility, which is a beautiful thing. Eat out one night, um, but still just really, you know, make sure that I hit my macros um, even when I'm on a work trip. Now when I vacation, I don't track anything at all, and I definitely enjoy my vacations. Um, and I think, you know, there's a balance to doing this kind of health life, but the balance is so easy for me to attain when I know the outcome I want. And the outcome is not some body goal. In the beginning, it was. In the beginning, I thought I just needed to lose weight and feel better, and that's great. But for me, the my overarching goal that I am aiming for from a business perspective but from just a personal impact on humanity perspective it comes from knowing and being extremely clear on what those dreams are that I have for myself and how I need to achieve them and for me to achieve them I need to continue to show up for myself every single day and be disciplined and having a body that is strong and supple is the answer for me to achieve those really big dreams and at least keep me in the pursuit of them. And so that was a big part of what keeps me going and what keeps me disciplined. Um, yeah, so that's a lot about the health journey of it all. Now, because I continue to work out and lift weights, four to five days a week and do the cardio, it's taxing on the body, right? So you want to make sure you have recovery. And this is where I have to segue into having a pelvic floor physical therapist, especially someone at Body Motion. I, I mean, I could not be on this journey without them. They keep my hips and my pelvis mobile. They allow me to hit my workouts when my knee starts to ache. The minute something in my body starts to talk to me that, hey, this doesn't feel good, is the minute that I'm on their schedule and they're adjusting my knee or they're adjusting my pelvis or doing some pelvic floor work to free up my hips so I can make sure I hit my leg day. Having a pelvic expert physical therapist is so important. It's It should be part of everyone's routine. It doesn't matter if you're pushing your fitness goals or your health and wellness goals or if you're just trying to feel good even if you're not being as healthy as you want to be. Everybody needs that body support. We all develop patterns in our lives that don't always support our bodies. Our bodies are amazing at compensating. So if you do something with your arm um, like continually and your body doesn't like it, okay, it might start to get tight in one area. Well, over time, that tightness could turn to a tendonitis. Um, and if not caught and worked on, then it's going to lead to more and more problems. The tendonitis is going to get worse. You might develop some arthritis. So that's where having someone continually tuning up your body, kind of breaking down your patterns and working past them um, is absolutely epic. So I definitely could not have been on this journey if I didn't have pelvic floor physical therapy at Body Motion. Some days, some weeks I'm doing it twice a week, um, sometimes just once a month. But regardless, it has been an absolutely epic journey. Um, talk about needing to keep my pants dry as I progress my activities. Um, there's no nothing more important than getting consistent pelvic floor therapy work um, to help make sure that you can keep your pants dry, that you can not have any other dysfunctions. Um, and that is true health and wellness, right? Like making sure your core is working. Your pelvic floor is the bottom of your core. So we want to make sure that that stays super strong. Um, if that stays strong, then you know that the rest of your workouts are going to be that much more impactful, that much more beneficial. 
um, and really just have a huge impact on what the workouts are actually doing for your body. If you're having more aches and pains, if your core isn't working for you, you're gonna load a lot heavier into your joints and put a lot more stress on your joints, which down the line, doing that repeatedly can lead to more arthritic conditions and arthritic changes in the joints, which then can lead to more joint replacements and more needing, needing um, injections and different things like that. So again, I can't speak highly enough about just getting that consistent pelvic floor work done to keep you healthy. Um, other things I've brought into the business that have, so I only bring things into the business that I bring into my life, right? So like I'm on this pursuit of health and wellness for the reasons of pursuing my huge dreams. But I also have this business and I only bring in things that I truly believe in that almost I get addicted to or I need as part of my wellness journey. So call it selfish, but I'm just like every single one of our clients, right? Like we're all on this health and wellness journey. So if my body is needing something, most likely other women's bodies who have had babies also need something. And so I brought in shockwave therapy in May, 2023. So it's been over a year and a half now that we've had, um, it's called radial pressure shockwave therapy. So it's a radial pressure wave that goes into the tissue and it breaks up the tissue. It's amazing for tendonitis. Um, and then we've also had amazing use for scars, for C-section scars. I mainly brought it into the business to help break up C-section scars and different abdominal scars that we just couldn't fully dissolve with our hands. And then I realized that because of the use that we were using for with scars, it also had amazing effects for helping women reduce their pain with periods. Then we realized, okay, this is making epic changes for people with endometriosis. It's helping them manage their period pain and it's helping them manage all their endometrial pain and symptoms that they're having. So that has been absolutely game changing. We've also noticed how um, it's helping people recoil their cores and get their core control back postpartum. Um, it's amazing for that. It's used in the cosmetic industry for body sculpting, body contouring, for skin firming, for wrinkles, for cellulite. We don't use it for that, but you better believe us doing it on the stomachs absolutely helps with that core tightening. So that has been a, um, a great addition to the business, a great addition to my own personal uh, wellness journey. I can only rationalize this, these <laughs> expensive medical devices um, if I, you know, if I know for certain that they are going to make a big impact on our patients' lives and on my life. Um, I also secretly got it because I was like, you can use it on kids. And I really was like, well, it, no matter what, it'll be good for my, all the, my kids' injuries and tendonitis, especially with my daughter being um, involved in gymnastics. I was like, this will be perfect. We can shockwave anytime she gets overuse anywhere and help it heal a lot faster. Um, so that's been like one of the coolest regenerative tools that we use. So the radio pressure wave is called, is a regenerative therapy and it actually regenerates the tissue. And so that's why it's so amazing for the core postpartum. Um, it's also used in diastasis. I'll probably do a whole nother episode on it. I just wanted to touch on how it's affecting my life and how amazingly epic it's been in my own journey and keeping me pain free and healthy. Um, and then the final thing I'll, I'll touch on is uh, red light therapy. So I brought in red light therapy. I believe it was December. It was December or January that I brought in red light therapy to the business. And there was no, I should not have brought this in. Okay. Like I had zero plans to make money off of red light therapy. And if you are a business owner, you typically only invest in something that you know is going to be an asset that you can make money off of. Yeah, this was not the case. I essentially just got addicted to red light therapy. It was, for me, it was so good. I would sleep better the nights I red lighted. I felt like it was improving my skin. It was absolutely enhancing my recovery. So if I was really sore or just low energy, doing the red light, just I could feel the mitochondrial changes in my cells. So mitochondria, right, is what creates cellular energy. It's what gives any cell in your body energy. And and that's what red light does is it can help improve mitochondrial function. And it was, it is, 
it is such a game changer when it comes to recovery um, and just general health. So red light has an amazing effects. And again, I'll do a whole separate episode on red light therapy. I'm just telling you how it's impacted my life and my wellness journey. And from a recovery perspective, it's been amazing. From a skin firming perspective, it's been great. Um, and hoping it's helping with those anti-wrinkle situation, but we got a long way to go. Um, <laughs> and I don't do Botox, so there, you know, I don't have that on my side, but I have red light therapy and maybe I'll bust out the shockwave on my face, but honestly, the shockwave is just so good everywhere else on my body that when I actually make the time to do it once or twice a week, the last thing I want to do is put it on my face because I'm like, let's do my core, let's get my abs tight, let's get the skin firm, um, or if I'm having like an ache in my hip, I'll just do the shockwave on my hip quick or on my foot. So I never have time to end up doing it on my face. So one day the face will the face will get it. But for as far as red light therapy goes, um, it's been amazing. And we do have it set up at the Edmonds Clinic, so you can come and make an appointment. Our members get two red light therapy visits free every single month, at least for right now. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I just fully believe in getting pelvic wellness every single month, getting your pelvic floor worked on every single month, and throw in some red light, and you are well on your way to living your best wellness and health life. Um, so right now, that's that's what we do. Um, of course, people still come and use it. Um, we, we finally just set up scheduling, so you can like pay for a red light session. Again, this part of the business, I would consider myself like, I've learned business along the way. I'm not gonna ever say like I'm a good business person because I think there's a lot of luck involved. There's a lot of like people that you need to hire correctly. Um, there's so much learning and I'm always learning as far as business goes. But usually I'm a little bit better than just buying something and being like, oh, we won't sell it. <laughs> like, but not this time. Or, you know, so this is the one time that I didn't do that. I was like, no, I'm just going to get it. And if anything, it's an investment in myself and my own health and wellness. Um, but regardless, we'll throw our affiliate link. If you want to buy our red light panels, we have the best panels in the game. They're the medical grade platinum LED lights, and we do have an affiliate code. So you can, you, you know, you can throw that in there. Um, if you do want to purchase these for your house or we'll also drop the link if you just want to come book a session and come to um, the Edmonds Clinic for some red light. Look at me selling it there. Um, so that is our red light situation. And so really, you know, pelvic wellness, shockwave therapy, and the red light therapy have been absolutely epic in supporting my own health and wellness journey. And I think it's so important in supporting all of your health and wellness journeys. If you are listening to this, most likely you have followed along at some point um, and you are enjoying watching my journey. And I hope that I can just inspire you to take action and pursue your dreams. Diving into your own health and wellness will never fail you. Your dreams don't have to be health and wellness related. Mine are not personal health and wellness impacts to myself. My dreams are much bigger than that. My dreams are global. My dreams are for the entirety of humanity and they aren't about me per se, but they're about how I know I'm going to make an impact on leaving this world that I found when I was born. And so I need to be healthy in order to do that. I need to be strong in order to do that. I need to be supple in order to do that. So I'm just simply sharing the little facets of my life that I have created and changed and done over the last couple of years that have allowed me to be kind of the version of myself that I am today, um, continuing to show up better every single day. And really, that's all we can ask for and do. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Edmonds Moms Room podcast. I'm super excited to bring this back. I, If you have different topics that you want to dive into, that you, that you want to cover, I'll pull different topics from my DMs that people message me about. Um, and I will, I'll go into detail. I can dive into different health and nutrition things that we I've done. Um, I have a lot to say and, um, I definitely want to talk about different pelvic health conditions as well. Yeah. We'll just get started there. If you have comments, please drop them below, like this on YouTube, follow us on YouTube, do us a favor, follow, you know, subscribe on Spotify, subscribe on Apple. 
we are going to be putting out a lot of content and we would just love for this to have some kind of positive impact on your life. But for you to give us some positive impact back, please follow us. Um, it means the world. Thanks for being here. I'm Dr. Allison Felt.